Hello, this is Eugene with Slow IT Pro series. Today we will talk about three things. First, it's uh, three ways to open Hyper-V. We uh, discuss how to open it via search box, via MMC Snap-in and via administrative tools of control panel. Second task, we will create virtual machine named Win10 and put the uh, machine files and hard disk to folder uh, named Win10 under disk C. Here you can see the path. And our final task will be uh, installation of Windows 10 with local users on the Hyper-V machine that we created. Let's open Hyper-V via search box. Here is the search box. I'm starting to write Hyper and uh, you can see in the best match I have a Hyper-V manager desktop app. Click on the manager and as you can see uh, the application is open. We open the Hyper-V manager. Let's close it and uh, we'll go to the uh, second. The second task will be to open Hyper-V via MMC Snap-in. Um, actually, uh, I would prefer to open PowerShell. Here you can see the PowerShell windows. And clean screen. I'm typing MMC, enter. And as you can see here, uh, here I have a console, MMC console. I'm going to file and remove snap in. And uh, here it's supposed to be Hyper V Manager. Here we have Hyper V Manager, add and OK. As you can see, we have here Hyper V Manager that we can use uh, to work with our virtual machines. And now we will open Hyper-V via administrative tools of control panel. Okay, so right click on start uh, button, we go to control panel, uh, click on control panel, and control panel is open. Now we need to find administrative tools. Uh, as you can see here on the right, we have different administrative tools. And the administrative tools, we have Hyper-V Manager. Double click. And as you can see, Hyper-V Manager uh, is open. This is our second task. We will uh, create a virtual machine named uh, Win10. And place this virtual machine as well as its hard disk and the folder named Win10. And uh, here you can see the, the path, it's uh, CVM Hyper V Win10. Now I will open Hyper V Manager. Here we have Hyper V Manager, and we will create a new virtual machine. It will be Virtual Machine Generation 1. Right click the computer name, new, virtual machine. Uh, we will uh, pass uh, before you begin page, next. Specify name and location. Name, as we talked before, it's Win10. Location, we need to change location. So uh, it's location for virtual machine, location for hard disk is uh, Specify it separately. So we click Browse. We go to C. VM. Hyper-V. As you can see, we uh, have no uh, subfolder named Win10, but it will be created in time of creation of a virtual machine. So we are just uh, We'll choose the PFC uh, M Hyper V select folder. Um, I click next. 
specify generation. Uh, in this case, I uh, prefer to use generation one, and uh, Windows 10 could be installed on generation one. Uh, the reason that I choose generation one that I have a installation uh, DVD that is uh, located in the DVD on the uh, host. And Generation 2 is not providing the opportunity to install uh, Windows uh, from the DVD located on host machine. So I click Next. Memory, uh, I will uh, leave uh, the defaults. Configure networking, we don't need the networking right now. Um, virtual disk. As you can see, uh, we already have the uh, correct uh, location. It's on the CVM Hyper V Win 10. Uh, on the Win 10, we have separate subfolder for virtual hard disk. We will leave it as it is. Installation option. Uh, we will install the operation system later. Right now, I just want to show you how I will create the uh, virtual machine. Text summary. That's the opportunity to check if uh, we have a correct definition. And now when I will click Finish, a virtual machine will be created. Finish. Oh, that's it. We have a Vinted virtual machine. And I would like to show you that uh, now we have a Vinted folder. Just uh, CVM Hyper V, uh, v uh, double click. So we have Winter folder. If we uh, go under Winter folder, we have two subfolders virtual hard disk and virtual machines. That is how Windows uh, 10 creates virtual machine usually. It's, it creates a subfolder for virtual machine itself with the name of this virtual machine. And under that uh, specific subfolder, it creates two additional subfolders, one uh, named virtual hard disk and another named virtual machines. If you continue to research with subfolders and uh, the virtual hard disk, you have a virtual hard disk with, uh, with extension VHDX. It could be VHD, uh, but in this case, we created VHDX. And now we go up. And when we go to virtual machine, uh, we can see the uh, virtual machine files. It's uh, VMCX and uh, VMRS. So we will continue to our task number three. As you may remember, it's an uh, installation of Windows 10 with a local user on the Hyper-V virtual machine. I already inserted the uh, installation disk in the uh, DVD of the host machine. Now we need uh, to do, uh, change settings on a Win10 uh, machine. So I go to the uh, Win10 settings. Go to DVD drive. It's here. And in the media, I switch to physical drive. I have only drive E. And click OK. Let's start virtual machine and see if we able to uh, install Windows 10. So right click, connect. And here we click on start. Let's start virtual machine. I pause. I will pause recording and will show the uh, moments that uh, have information. But first, we have a logo of uh, Windows uh, 10. It's the beginning of installation. Uh, first question: It's what language to install? Uh, time and currency format, key, uh, keyboard to input methods. All we will uh, leave it as it is. I click on next. And I have option install now. So it will be install install now. Setup is starting. As you can see, setup is starting. 
we have Microsoft uh, license agreement. Uh, to continue, you need to accept the uh, agreement and click on next. Now we have uh, to choose between upgrade and custom installation. Well, it's a new machine, hard disk uh, is uh, empty, so we have nothing to upgrade. We click on custom. It's ask about the drive. Oh, nothing specific, we just click next. The installation have begun. Let me start now. Getting the device ready. Getting ready. After it starts, first we are uh, getting get going fast window. Uh, we will not use express settings, we click customize. In customized settings, it's uh, mostly about sending data to Microsoft. Uh, so, per personalize your speech uh, by sending your data to Microsoft. No, that is no. Send typing and linking data to Microsoft, that is no. And other things is also, we will put it on off. That is includes the location. Later, you will be able to switch it on if you would like to use this feature. Next. The next screen is also about sending data. We will put uh, all, it, uh, all settings to off and click on next. That is another customization settings screen uh, that we will put uh, all options to off. Next. Now, we have create account for this PC with this local account. So, uh, our name is student. Uh, let's put uh, some kind of password. Re-enter the password, it's supposed to be the same password. Uh, it will ask you for password hint. Uh, you can uh, enter whatever you want uh, that reminds you about uh, password, so it's hint. It's asking about uh, Cortana. No, we don't want to do it now. Well, it's first screens of a uh, set window setup. And we uh, got uh, the Windows 10 uh, start window. Actually, it's a uh, Looks like it's immediately expired, but it's a uh, newly installed Windows. Uh, the only thing that's not connected to the internet. Uh, after connection, internet uh, uh, will be created. We will be able to. 
Oh, by the way, uh, I would like to show you one small uh, trick how to change uh, the display resolution in Windows 10 uh, because uh, my recording settings uh, were um, uh, small and uh, the display was too big so I just right click it and go to display settings as you can see I have no way uh, here to change the uh, resolution but uh, when I click advanced display settings I can change the resolution Oh, I use uh, 12 by 80 uh, on 720 uh, resolution, so that's, uh, that's okay. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos of Slow IT Pro Series.